Friday. Hi everyone. If you're here because you or a loved one has recently experienced a pregnancy loss, I'm so sorry. Today, I'm going to communicate from my own personal experience and then also from my work in reproductive medicine as a genetic counselor, what a chemical pregnancy is. You'll hear the terms biochemical pregnancy and chemical pregnancy used interchangeably. And what it describes is an early pregnancy loss, usually within the first five weeks of pregnancy. It occurs when a patient gets a positive pregnancy test or an HCG test, whether they're at home doing urine tests that you can buy at the drugstore, or they're doing blood serum tests with their doctor. They get a positive test and then usually a couple of days to a week or so later, they get their period back and their HCG is dipping and then eventually they get a negative pregnancy test. Providers call it a chemical pregnancy or a biochemical pregnancy because there was chemical evidence that a pregnancy was starting to grow, but there was no clinical evidence. When we take a look at an ultrasound, there was no um, gestational sac that had started to form yet. How is a chemical pregnancy different from a later first trimester miscarriage? Well, for people who have later first trimester miscarriages, miscarriages at six, seven, eight, nine, and beyond weeks, um, typically there is some sort of clinical evidence of the pregnancy forming. And the chemical result, the HCG result, is evidence that a pregnancy was starting, that there was a conception. But the difference here is that with later miscarriages, you can usually see on ultrasound that a gestational sac or more has started forming. Or if a person has a miscarriage, the tissue from the pregnancy loss can be studied and you can see embryonic or fetal tissue and confirm that at one point there was a pregnancy. So to sum it up, a biochemical pregnancy is one where in spite of the HCG being positive, the pregnancy test being positive, the pregnancy doesn't progress. Now, most of the time, chemical pregnancies resolve on their own. However, it is important you reach out to your doctor, your primary care, or OBGYN to let them know what's going on with you. Depending on your history and what your doctor knows about you, your doctor may want to see you in to be evaluated. Most of the time, you do not need to take any medication or have any procedures the way that you might need to have done with later miscarriages, um, just because biochemicals are early enough that they usually resolve naturally. But again, consult your doctor. Please know there is nothing you did to cause this early loss to happen. Nothing. And there is nothing we can do um, th to prevent a chemical pregnancy loss from occurring once we have a suspicion it might be. So this is just one of those things, like many with fertility, well, it, where it's not perfectly understood by any means and there's not a way to avoid it or prevent it. Unfortunately, chemical pregnancies are incredibly common. It's thought that about 15 to maybe upwards of 20, 25% of pregnancies result in chemical losses, these early losses. Even though they are so early, they're devastating for most people. And I know this from experience because I've experienced five losses, one of which was a chemical pregnancy. Even though chemical pregnancies are early, it was still devastating, at least for me in my experience, because I was living with that hope and dream of that baby that was very much wanted um, during the time that I knew I was pregnant. So for me, it was also the frustration of, okay, another cycle where this isn't working, where I'm not going to have an ongoing pregnancy. So these chemical pregnancies can hit hard. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Even though they're early, they can definitely hit hard. If you're struggling, I encourage you to reach out to family, friends, your medical team, whether it's a therapist, your OBGYN, your primary care doctor, to let them know if you're having a hard time so you can get the support you need to hang in there and make it through. If you're interested in other content on chemical losses, biochemical pregnancies, check out my biochemical or chemical pregnancy playlist where I have um, a story time about my biochemical loss and what it was like for me. I have a video about what are the causes of chemical pregnancies and also a video of am I experiencing a chemical pregnancy? How would I know? If you would like to see other videos on pregnancy losses, fertility and infertility treatment, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, Katie Lee CGC, and take care of yourself. Bye guys.